hey, storyteller, storytelling run. I think it's going to be a tough video. I'm kind of, I'm still, I'm trying to like work it out all in my mind here and the answer, but I'm, um, I'm really having a rough time, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to go a little crazy, silly on this because I, otherwise, what else can I do? Uh, this is, um, Dear Libertarians, The Woke Won't Stop. Some title like that. Dear Libertarians, The Woke Won't Stop. I think that'll be the title. Um, cause I'm watching, you know, like Nerd Rotic and the Geeks and Gamers and, um, and all those, um, the, the drinker guy, the, you know, I enjoy. And then a lot of people that are a lot, a lot of other videos that come on my feed about like Disney and their wokeness and, and the solution and how to solve it. And I think film threat and some others. So I appreciate you guys doing what you're doing. It's for sure. You know, I'm, I'm a hardcore Christian, uh, but I appreciate the culture war that you guys are in and, you know, doing your thing. And, um, but I'm, and I'm assuming you're all kind of in the libertarian vein, conservative, but not Christian or at least not evangelical Christian, not, not missionary based and all that. And, and then this is for all of you out there who, um, hopefully found my video somehow, uh, dear libertarians, the woke won't stop. And by the way, if you're woke, if you're the left, you're, if you're a Democrat, if you're liberal, um, keep doing what you're doing. That's, that's, you know, it's okay. I mean, I get it. It's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I am gonna judge you and all that, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's fine. I'm not here to, uh, you know, chagrin what you're doing necessarily. Well, I guess I will, but, uh, this is really for libertarian libertarians and Christians. Uh, some advice here, the woke won't stop. Okay. And the reason they won't stop is because, um, it's a spiritual battle. It's, it's a spiritual war. And I'm I'm from coming from a Christian. Think about it. What they're doing doesn't make any sense. It's not logical. Their support of Palestine over Israel, right? You're looking at it going, what are they doing? It doesn't make sense. Well, the Bible says it's not going to make sense. I mean, it does make sense actually, but it's not gonna make sense to them and not to you because you're not getting on, you're not understanding the worldview coming from the Bible or from God, I guess. Um, not, I guess from God. I'm trying to be a bit timid here, but this is going to be radical extreme or whatever. Um, so let me just go to the warning Romans one. This is the warning. Um, you know, John MacArthur, my pastor did this and I not a long cause I'm the choir just nodding along. Cause it's actually, you know what I, this is my favorite. I'm kind of one of those, um, dystopian futuristic, you know, zombies. And I, I have my atheist, uh, background and tendencies. And I love the whole dark grim. There is only in the future. There's only war, warmer 40 K kind of view. Um, and this, this year is, is God telling you exactly who they are. So this is what you're up against and all, everything here fits about in the latter days. Okay. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against, and I've already done this before, but I'm doing it again. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all, uh, the godlessness, uh, wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness. So they're wicked and they're going to keep suppressing the truth. And you guys all saw that video recently of that Harvard professor, the black guy who did all the, did 1 million, he checked like millions of um, police reports, thousands of, of shooting reports. He had eight interns or full-time RAs, resident, it's whatever, they're RAs. He found no bias in the police shootings. And he then he re, he hired eight new RAs. I don't know, RA stands for something, something academic or something. They're like interns, paid interns, um, to, to do the study. And he was you know working on it. A uh, 105-page report, 150-page appendix, and the Harvard people told him, and he's a Harvard professor, they told him not to report it because it was not part of their message that police were killing black people. And by police killing black people, by pushing that out there, people, you know, hatred, animosity are, have been rekindled. So in Harvard, the wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness, this has been happening everywhere. The white devil is another thing. The slavers call the whites white devils to the Africans uh, so that they could keep them in slavery. So the slaves would be t- more fearful of the British sl- uh, Royal Navy trying to free them from sla- the slave trade than they are of their enslavers. So they said white, they're called the white devils, the British were. We're called the white devils. We're called white supremacists. We're called white sa- savior, white guilt, whatever. Uh, they use that on anyone, including black people that fight for God. 
because they have to. They have to use, they have to suppress the truth with their, by their wickedness. For what may, may be known about God is plain to them. All right, this one's, I love this because I'm into creation science. Uh, because God has made it plain to them for since the creation of the world. Okay, so now we're talking about creation. We're talking about evolution. We're talking about that. For what may be, may be known about God is plain to them because God has made it plain to them. So no one is without excuse. Atheists and you guys, libertarians, you're, you're, you got a freaking, there's no excuse. Am I pointing my finger at you? Um, for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities. I'm going to get to this. His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen being understood from his workmanship so that the men, so that men are without excuse. Whoo, man. This is like smoking a joint for me <sighs> or snorting cocaine right here, man. This is wonderful. And of course, what's cool about it is I can chill too. And I don't have a hangover or whatever. Um, for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen. His invisible qualities are clearly seen. What the heck does that mean? Imagine that, that our founding fathers certainly could not understand that. Uh, I mean, they thought maybe ghosts or spiritual or whatever. Um, you know, back in the day, so many people, so many people required faith today. It's really lazy. It's really easy to get faith because it's so invisible qualities. Think of this, the laws of chemistry, genetic codes, our genetic code, DNA, our DNA is a code. It's a code. I had an atheist tell me, Oh, it's not a code. It's called a genetic code. That's what we call it. Yeah, but it's not a code. Wow. Um, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen. So it's clearly seen to them and they're freaking out. Evolutionists are how clear it is that we are made through coding. We're made through information. Our cells have information in them. The cells of this shoulder are symmetrical to this shoulder. And if boy, do they need to be symmetrical? Otherwise I would be in great pain. I mean, if your knees, if one part of your knee is out of whack, you're, you, 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 you know, old guys, you fall apart really quickly. The entire disjoining of that. There's, there's information in both those knees to, to remain the way they are. And, and, and I'm talking every little bit, the ligaments, the, the circulation, the fluids, the cushioning, everything has information that is symmetrical. How, how is that random? <laughs> Not only in it, the, what you have right now, but informing our symmetry. How is that random? How is that? How is this randomly this? Whew. Okay. His eternal power been clearly seen being understood by, from his workmanship so that men are without excuse. So this is evolution is a bunch of crock. We are created. We are designed in an incredible way. The cells in our body are so complicated. There's a little city of proteins in there that require each other, require a protective coating, require uh, uh, nutrients and fluids and separation of those fluids. If your liver breaks right now, you will die. If your liver, if your stomach breaks, you will dissolve yourself. You know, the acid, the acid lining in your stomach protects you from the acids in the stomach. Your immune system can kill you. The valves are in your veins, in your arteries, rather. The valves in your arteries are protecting you from bursting of blood. They go and everyone goes in the, in the direction it needs to go in. It's, you know, the flap always goes one way so that, uh, so, so it only goes down so that whenever it comes back up, it stops the blood from, from bursting up into your, into your brain, the valve, you know, or whatever the, all the different arteries are. How is that random? The wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness. So I, I'm talking today, I, I did a creation tour yesterday and it's on my mind and I just talked to some people on my channel, my discord. Uh, dinosaurs are used by, uh, and it's really sad because I was at the museums yesterday uh, doing a creation tour with uh, the coordinator and, he, and um, you know, I could just hear the children, oh, dinosaurs, dinosaurs, and millions of years, I heard the kids say that millions of years ago. And I remember that too at Disneyland, millions and millions of years ago, dinosaurs ruled the earth. They're being brainwashed uh, with a lie to believe that. And so that 
when they get into high, high school. So evolution, millions and millions of years ago, evolution, millions, of, you know, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I remember that as a kid. You know, it's really sad. Okay. For although they knew God, they not they neither glorified him or nor as God, nor gave him thanks, but they became futile in their thinking and darkened their foolish hearts. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of a mortal God for images of mortal man, corrupted man, uh, birds and animals and reptiles. Ooh, I don't like this uh, translation, actually. Let me go to, what translation am I using? I mean, it's okay. It, oh, BSB. Let me go to uh, King James Version. Okay. See, I can do that. So not every translation... <clears throat> Here, okay, this one is, I like this one better. Uh, Change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like corruptible, like to corruptible man and to birds and forfeited beasts and creeping things. Okay. See, so, and by the way, we Christians, we, we know these different translations. Like we know the wordings and the changes and the nuances of translations. And we understand that. We understand that that's the corruptible man. But the corruptible man here to me is apes. Uh, and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man into birds. They're using birds now, right? They're using birds to, why would they include birds in here? It's kind of weird, but look at that. In evolution today, they're using birds that, you know, dinosaurs evolved into birds, putting feathers on dinosaurs is so stupid. Four footed beasts and creeping things. So they're using animals in evolution to get us to be all excited about evolution. And, oh, it all happened randomly. The symmetry, I mean, they don't even want to teach you the intricacies of animals and what they can do. Everything is dumbed down. For instance, the hummingbird uses a small pebble and a spider web to weight down its nest. You know, and, and then they say like apes use tools, right? They use, oh, look, they're evolving because they use tools like us. Well, termites build cities. So are we termites then? Have we evolved from termites? Because they build cities. Apes don't build cities. Termites farm. Ants farm. So are we, did we evolve from them then? Apes use sticks. Termites build cities. And they have bioengineered different types of termites. Okay, let me go back. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their thoughts and their foolish hearts. And was darkened. Here, I love this phrase. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. So I noticed that too, the previous translation, they didn't, professing themselves. So professors profess to be wise. They became fools. Look at that. I love this wording. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. So professors, you're fools. That's what God says. When you, when you call yourself a professor, you're saying, oh, I'm wise. I'm smart. I'm, you're a fool. That's what God says. The creator of you calls you a fool. Uh, cause you don't glorify God. And, uh, so this is all about evolution and all of them, all the museums are, are all about evolution. It's creepy how they are. It's so pathetic. You know, the deception that they're using on themselves, on themselves because of their wickedness. Uh, wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts. Um, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So this is, um, it's divorce, it's promiscuity and it's homosexuality. It's perversity. It's all this stuff who changed the truth of God into a lie and adultery and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. So the, all the evolutionists, all of them, they're all everything. Abortion is fine with them. Uh, sex outside is marriage is fine with them, right? They're, how come every atheist believes in the exact same thing? In the exact same thing. You notice Christians, which is annoying to me, but Christians, see, there's progressive Christians, Christians, there's Christian Christians, there's, um, um, uh, the ones that believe in evolution, the ones that believe abortion's okay, which I don't think they're really Christian then, but whatever. But in the atheists, they all believe abortion's okay. Even the, even the libertarian people, right? You, 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 okay, you know, whatever. Um, you think maybe it's a little wrong, but you don't think it's a sin or bad. You just think people are making bad choices or whatever, but whatever atheists all believe in the same thing. They all believe in evolution. Okay. For this, 
cause. And by the way, you libertarians and conservatives who are not Christian, I, I, you know, I think you're in the same boat as them as far as these sins. So please come, come join, come see what God is saying. You don't have to be a Christian like me. You don't have to go to a church you don't want to go to, but you need to look at, um, when your when your back hits the wall, what's going to be behind you? Is it going to be flimsy flam or is it going to be God? Um, when they come for you, when you put, you know, get put into a dark cell, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how strong I am. I, I love the Lord. I don't know. Okay. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into that, which is against nature. Um, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their own and their lust one toward another men with men working at that, which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was met. So this is, you know, it could be HIV. It could be any other S- STD, but that is huge and prevalent in, in the gay community. And they're and, and bowel, irritable. Uh, they have a bowel syndrome thing that they're not talking about either. Like I looked up and it's creepy. The doctors are not talking about that. Yeah. Because of their, the sodomy, they have a bowel disease or whatever it's called uh, bacterial thing that they have a problem with. Um, but this is what you're up against. They're, they're, they're choosing these type of things, women to women, lust men to men, lust and um, vile affections. Okay. This is what God calls it. And even as they did not like, all right, let's go to the end here. Any of this, and, and even as they didn't li- did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. They're reprobate. So you're never going to figure figure them out. You're never going to debate them or reason with them. I mean, hopefully you could call, save a few of them, you know, or I could with, with evangelism and, and they will come to, to their senses, but you're, you're never going to beat them in a debate because they're what reprobate mind. Their wickedness will suppress the truth to do those things, which are not convenient. God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things that are not convenient. The woke, are they convenient or, 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 or an easy yoke, an easy burden? Ah, oh, heck no. They got hoops. You got to jump through so many hoops and it keeps changing. Doesn't it? Uh, being filled with all unrighteousness. Wow. Here we go. Fortification, wickedness, Covetous, covetousness, which is Marxism, uh, fornication. We all pff, wicked covetedness is we want your stuff. We want your salary. We want your job. We want to unionize and control your business. They want what you have and they're going to keep wanting what you have. You can see it. Um, I've just saw it in a, uh, an RPG, uh, dragons and diversity did a thing on, on that woke dude who's uh, at Paizo and then went to, and now is at, and now it's, I think running the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. And he was a pissant, a pissant sycophant, uh, academic loser who made 38,000 Paizo unionized there, then left it for, for Watsi now works there and is controlling it. And he talks about indoctrination and control and unions and knowing everyone's salaries and phew, covet, covetedness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, Abortion is murder. Debate. They're constantly arguing. I don't know why they put debate. That's kind of, maybe that's a bad translation. Uh, Deceit. Malignity. Whisperers. Whisperers. This is some poetry, man. Dark poetry. Backbiters. Wow. Backbiters. They will turn on their own just as easily as go after Christians or whoever. When we Christians go after each other, uh, you know, or when we like betray, we do, but then there's, a, it's kind of a sadness. There's a, a frustration because Christians do fail each other for sure. Um, but it's not, it's definitely not at the level of this, the hatred that they have for each other. Haters of God, despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. That's right. They do not They're They want to get right. They call it birthers now. They don't want mother and father day, mother's day and father's day. They don't like that. Uh, they're, they're without understanding. I'm getting tired. Covenant breakers. Yeah. Breakers of promises without natural affection, implacable, un- implacable. You can't, you can't placate them. Unmerciful. Try apologizing to them who 
knowing the judgment of God, that which they commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. They are applauding abortion. They are applauding your demise. They're not going to change. So if you, if Disney or Mar or Mark's Marvel or any of these, um, you know, woke, go woke, go broke, right? They don't care. They, if they can destroy Star Wars and destroy your little happy worldview, they're, they're happy. They're fine. Broke or not. They, then that, then they're, what are they going to do when, when they say lose their job at, at Disney or Marvel? Then they're just going to like form their little communist parties, work parties, and look for ways to take over something else or take, take it over after they've been laid off or fired. Or, you know, they're going to do something to continue to destroy. All right. I, I, hopefully I'll come up with a solution at the end of this video. I don't know. But let me, in these, while I was pos, pondering this video to do today, because I'm trying to, I wanted to do like an easy, nice, happy video for the Lord RBG or something, but uh, look at this. This popped up in, in my, and these two popped up in Not the Bee. Oh, this is Not the Bee. Baby killer sues prison after identifying as Muslim woman and being denied a hijab. So this guy is becoming a transgender, killed a 11 month old baby stepdaughter strangled or her to death. I don't know the backstory of all that <sighs> was a Wiccan when, when he did it, uh, serving 55 years. Uh, why 55? Why not life? Um, now, so it now identifies was a Wiccan now identifies as Islamic practicing trans woman. Um, you know, and, and is and constantly like using, suing there's going to suing for 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 money for sex reassignment surgery for wearing a hijab uh being insulted um you know being being uh, hurt by others there's that constant bitterness and desire to attack and and go after something and manip manipulate and deceive and even unto themselves they're just stuck in this um demonic world how are you, uh, this is the face of woke. How are you libertarian going to talk to this? Cause I mean, this is the face of them inside it, inside them. If they don't look like this, they, they definitely look like this inside. How are you going to persuade them or, or convince them to go woke, go broke. So stop going woke. You know, this is what they are in prison. This guy is still fighting for his woke identity and power and Wow, it's a hell. I'm a. I'm a. Okay, British gender studies researcher. British gender studies researcher claims it's racist to want female only spaces. Wow, go to church because there are there are female only spaces. Um, so this person is saying that it's racist to to think that way. Uh, this person. Uh, she, uh, Helen Clark says that, oh, she's against the LGP, LG, LGBs. Cause they, I am a cis lesbian with a cis lesbian wife and lots of cis lesbian friends. LGB Alliance does not speak for me. She wants to have the trans in there. So they're, see, they're biting their own. They're, they're stabbing their own. They're going after their own. They have no problem with that. Um, she's, uh, with this group here or whatever. And then she talks here, uh, she, she brings up white people, white devils, basically this article here, I'm not going to read it through it, but it's white devils is what she's kind of slowly crafting her little deception and white devils is again, what they're using. Um, they're, they're constantly using the racist card, the racist card, cause they know it's, it's like an evil spell to them. It's evil magic. To, it's black magic to them to do that, to hex and curse by constantly using the magic word white devil, you know, or white supremacist or white racist or whiteness or white bourgeoisie. She uses here white bourgeoisie women should not, they're racist because they want their own spaces, you know, and she's claiming that it's all about them European, you know, whatever. But see the reason the white European bourgeoisie woman, bourgeois woman is so statistically successful. Isn't because she's European or white or, or bourgeoisie or a woman. It's because she's Christian. It's because they're Christian. Europeans, statistically speaking, are Christian, you know, at least culturally and the ethos of it. That is why they have to go after them. They're not going to go after the the Chinese Asian bourgeoisie woman because they're probably not Christian. Uh, they're not going after them. They're not going to go after anyone else. They're going after Christians. They're just using white devil as their code word, their magic word. 
Okay, so this is what you're 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 gonna try to argue against, or what you're trying to persuade um, the culture to not be. All right, I'm gonna go through one last thing here, and then I'm gonna try to sum up a solution, which I don't even know yet. <laughs> don't even know. All right, John three sixteen. John three sixteen is is quoted a lot, and um, uh, which which I'm using BSB. It always defaults to BSB, which I don't even know what that is. Um, Varian something. I'm going to use the NAS, you know, because just just to show you that you know I, I can kind of jump around the translations and I actually have read different translations of the Bible. So we know there are different translations and we know that we compare and contrast them and people decide for themselves, which one is more, whatever, akin to what they want or not, or, or, you know, what, what might be missing from one that is in another, et cetera, et cetera. And the historical references to why things are the way they are. So we know we, we have it. We, we know. Okay. All right. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, which is himself, that, and son is just a, a simpler, easier way to understand it. Okay? God, Jesus is God. We say, he says son here. Why did he say son? Because no one in the, in the old days would understand anything else. You know, the father and the son are the same to everyone in the past. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a poetic way and an understandable way of saying it. For instance, and, and look at that sunset. Why do we say sunset? The set, the sun is not setting. It's an anthropomorphological thing. Anthro is human morphological, change it to anthropomorphological. So we're changing it to, to our PO point of view, our understanding. That's why we say sun, because, um, it's a way of just anthropomorphologically you and I understanding it saying, Oh, beautiful sunset. Oh, look at the sunrise. It's better. It's just done. You get it. Move on. Okay. So if any, if any, um, yeah, anyway, I got a few on that, but that's the whole nother story, um, about atheists. You know, if they say, if they, they say stuff like this is, is a lie then I'm like, well, then did you say sunset? To, have you ever said sunrise or sunset? Well, then you're lying. So we don't need to believe you either. Okay. Uh, that's my thing. Okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but be have eternal life. All right. Cool. However, let's move on to the Calvinish, hardcore Calvin part of this. Yeah. Uh, oops. I meant to do the whole thing. For God did not send the son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Okay. So this, this sentence too is a lot of... Um, a lot of Christians think that, you know, everybody can be saved. Everybody can be saved. God loves everyone. I get God loves everyone, but he loves everyone and knows still that they're sinners and they're going to go to hell. He knows that even though he loves them. Um, for God did not send. Why did they make him evil? Well, because there's evil. Uh, he who, okay. He who believes in him is not judged. He who does not believe has been judged already. He who believes in Jesus is not judged. So if you believe in Jesus, you're saved through grace, not through what you do. You're already saved. You're already created for God. I'm already created for God. And I know I am only in this sense because I, I love God. I, I love, you know, I'm, just, I'm obsessing over God and I've given up D and D and star Wars. It took, it was a little difficult, but I gave it up. Uh, so I am pretty sure I'm saved by God. I feel pretty calm, pretty comfortable there. And I'm trying to be, humble uh in my verbiage he who believes in him is not judged he who does not believe has been judged already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of god so all of those wicked will be judged period and they're going to be judged guilty this is the judgment that the light has come this is the judgment that the light has come into the world and men love the darkness rather than the light for the deeds were evil for everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come to the light for the fear that his deeds will be exposed. But he who practices the truth comes to the light so that his deeds may be manifested as having been brought, been wrought in God. So if you're of the truth, you're going to practice the light. You're going to come to the light. You're going to show who you are. You're going to say who you are. I'm a Christian creation, conservative Calvin dude. So I'm going to say it. I'm going to preach it. Or I'm going to tell you come what may. I, I hope I'm strong enough to handle the persecution don't test me though, please. Um, but listen to this. He, who, he who, who does not believe has been judged already. He's been judged already. 
What does that mean? I think it means he's already condemned because he has not believed in the name of the Holy God. So God already knows who you are, who the wicked are. Okay, what's my point then here? My point is um, you can't argue with the wicked or don't waste your time. I still appreciate, you know, I still like what you're doing. So that's fine. You can keep doing it. But you're not there. You're not doing, you know, libertarians and fighting the culture war. You're not converting people. You're helping us be sorted, right? Who's good and who's evil. And you're helping us see clearly. So I appreciate what you're doing. So what you're doing is fine. My, my, my advice to you is to seek the Lord, go to church, find out your faith, find out, are you of, of the faith? Um, pray to the, the, the best thing to do is pray to Jesus now and ask him to come into your life. That's it. That's as, as a Christian, actually, that is my advice. Pray to Jesus and God, but Jesus, whatever, same thing. Come into, to come into your life. Show you, please show me Jesus, you, or give me a clue, bring something in my life to make me want to come and pursue you. Why, why am I, well, I'm a Christian because of what I just read here, but because you're going up against, um, wickedness, evil, you're going up against evil and evil's not really going to change, you know? I mean, yeah, some could, you know, come out of their stupor, come out of their, their dinosaurs are millions of years old, um, stupor that they were brainwashed into for many years, like I was and become good. Cause I was, uh, on the left for many, many years for many years based on evolution, based on dinosaurs. Oh yeah. Based on all that, based on my art, my fine art upbringing, my partying, my sin and all that. Uh, so yes, they can change, but, uh, again, you're, you're sorting, you're not convincing. So if someone though is so vile, you're not going to convince them, move on. Right. Uh, but I guess the simplest answer I I, I give you is pray and ask Jesus to come into your life. Second, for all you Christians, join a church or be support your church for sure. Get it going. If you're not there, get, start talking about this stuff with your pastor and your fellowship group. Um, missionary missionary. We need to be evangelists. We need to go out into the world and rebuke the sin openly, publicly shine the light on the dark, shine the light so that the dark, the dark right now is waving their darkness. They're waving it out. They're proud. Our goal against the evil is not to, uh, convert them. I mean, if if the, the truly evil, our goal is to subdue them so that they just stop doing that much evil, try to tamper it down. So you and I can still have the freedom and peace to worship our God freely without being persecuted. But we're going to get persecuted in the end, you know, so you got to be uh, at peace with that. Um, uh, so that's, you know, here I am like, I don't know. The end times, man. I feel like it's, uh, you know, I guess every generation feels that way about the end times, but, uh, I got some new proof, new evidence, you know, uh, feels closer, you know, I don't know. Well, it's always closer, <laughs> but, um, for you libertarians and conservatives, pray to Jesus. Why not? Yeah. You don't have to tell me, you don't have to do it publicly by yourself. Earnestly, earnestly. If, if there is a God, if there is a God, please show me, help me bring me into the light. Um, to Christian men, shine the light. We need to start shining the light. And that means evo- uh, evolution. That means uh, evangelism, missionary, plant churches, support churches. Oh, and I have this role-playing game that you can do that can sort of, you know, be part of that and actually be, be part of your missionary, your evangelism, your mission, uh, because it, that's what it is. Uh, you have to play it, get a group of fellowship men together, work on it, play it, have some fun, uh, evangelize in it, you know, and then... And then invite other people in or take it to your church or take it to a convention and play it there as your mission, your ministry, not mine. You don't send money to me and the books I have are only a handful. I'm trying to do PDF, five buck PDFs, five buck. I get five bucks for PDFs. I get five bucks maybe for the prints and the rest of it goes to the printers. Um, but it really is meant to be a tool that you can get run with. And I'm looking for contributors. So if you want to be a contributor and make some settings or adventures, let me know. Uh, but we have some beliefs I got to put down on paper so everyone follows it. Enjoy my Discord. 
and I'm specifically addressing uh, RPG Christian men of RPGs. Join my Discord. We're doing this for the Lord. We're doing it for ourselves because we love the Lord. Um, we're practicing. We're evangelizing in the game. We're practicing. We're you know, well, I'm, I'm playing the pagans, but um, and we're doing we're we're having fun. But a ministry. It's a ministry. We we're rebuking the sin. We're we're calling out the sin. We're uh, you know, and we're also sharpening each other our iron sharpens iron and hopefully they'll those the players will keep me in check <laughs> with my kind of ranty craziness but anyway all right i'm tired now i'm gonna i'm gonna get to work i got some i gotta do some uh christians in space today yeah have some fun but also i'm gonna work on stories and lessons and, and things about that in a sense and my lessons are how pagan can I make these pagans in the, in the game? That's my lesson to them. I'm going to make these guys, this pagan, that pagan, I got to keep it PG. Sadly. I mean, well, sadly, cause there's so much horrible paganism out there. Okay. All right. Uh, you guys look at you, you as a GM can cr- create these worlds and others and homebrew and create a fellowship experience. And that you can build out into a ministry with your fellow men. And it's important. And it's not just a Bible study where you, I was about to call in the video. It's not just a Bible study where you guys hunker down and learn about the Bible and my faith. And, you know, I, I, I belittle that only because of the times it's about you doing it and then, and then going out and then, and then showing it off to the world, showing off the faith. All right, in the game of life, roll holy dice.